Hello everyone! Today I'm going to check up my <laughs> mixed media skills. Well, um, I did that before and I really like it because there is no limit. You can add and add and add till you are satisfied with it. So yeah, actually there is no limit for it. So you just go with the flow and see what happens. So that is what I really like because I always do that. Go with the flow. So I'm just going to grab a piece of um i call this so my good surface is not going to be messy with all the paint and the stuff that's going on so what i had in mind well you can choose for a canvas to use or anything like that but i thought because i am an album maker most of the time so i thought why not make a mixed media thing that i always can use on a um, on a cover to glue on that's always possible so that is why I choose some chipboard that I have left and I don't know which size it is let me check that's really just what I grab so it's a 14 and a half by by a 21 so you can always choose any size you like so I choose this one I I had four same sizes, it's just a leftover with some cuts and it's a very, very thin one, I think it's yeah, one and a half millimeter. So I'm just going to use these as the base, so I can always choose what I'm going to do after I am done with the mixed media part, so if I am gluing, gluing this down um, on a box or anything so that's that's really nice and you can make a portrait um, thing or a landscape um, you can turn it and twist it everything you like now first of all I'm going to do is I choose a paper where well I did clean up my uh, craft room um, the other day and I had oh yeah, well I have to turn on my camera battery um, so I had given, not given away, I had sorted out a lot of my um, leftover pieces and I'm going to choose just so because chipboard is really um, absorbing your liquid like uh, glue or water or paint or anything. So I thought it would be good to have a nice background surface so that is what i'm going to do first i'm glue i'm going to glue these all down so i'll be back in one sec all right almost there can't handle that this is all yeah okay well mixed media is really a thing <laughs> that you have your um fingers all over so yeah, that is necessary when you do mixed media. Okay, so first I am going to add my white gesso on here. So you have a nice background and gesso is really meaning it's a primer. So everything you're going to do on top of this um, will add perfectly okay just go over it just a little more here okay so there we go Yep, okay. Now, I guess it was really a quick dryer, so that's easy. Let's see if I can clean this up a bit. Yeah, really, it's really a terrible. Oh my gosh, I'm tearing all. <laughs> okay, I think I need a few more brushes to add. Anyway. Move this away. Oh, you know, I don't want any hair on my surface. 
surface. Alright, so next thing what I'm going to do is I think I already yep, I put it on my hot glue. You can use any other glue. Um I believe I have somewhere a nice gel glue, but I have to look that I have to look that up. But for now I'm just going to use um hot glue so I turn it on already and just waiting for this is almost dry okay let's, can I just oh let this oh no I'm just going to close it down oh yeah it's really nice smudgy already hate that and these napkins are really old but I just wanted to use them first before I throw them away so let me clean this up I like that I don't want any dirty pots <laughs> that's just a tick of me oh, okay all right so now this is nicely wet still can use it okay um what else well next thing what I want to do is what can we do oh yeah of course of course yeah use I'm going to use my stencils oh my goodness so excited to make a nice background so let me unpack this let's grab it and then so these are from creative expressions designed by lisa horton okay if you want to look it up i will put the link below like everything else okay so um next thing well, it's my first time, so I'm really excited. So this is my paste for it. Now be gentle, open this up. Oh, oh wow. Really nice texture in it. Oh yeah, of course. That is meaning the grit paste. I love it. So I'm going to use that. But I don't have a spatula, so I think I'm just going to use a lolly stick wooden so I think yeah I think that's that will do it now what can we do well I really like this image so I'm just going to apply here and there I don't want it to be too perfect but let me just first use here now I really like to add Oh my gosh, I never did this before guys, so please forgive me if I am doing this totally wrong. I think you just need to add this in here. Hold it, because I want some more. Keep it steady. Oh, I'm so excited. And I'm really wondering how fast this is drying. So yeah, scrape the rest off. Make sure you are hitting every little spot. And then I think I just can peel it off. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. looks awesome oh yeah 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 okay so now I want one more on this side too now be gentle because I don't want to go in that way oh my goodness yeah I saw this so many times on on uh, on, on YouTube I never 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 used any anything like it I think a spatula will a little bit easier, but I can manage this. You don't have to buy every single material you see on YouTube. You can use something that's in your house already. The 
this is so cool. And like I said, I really am curious how long does this need to dry. So I am very excited. Now to scrape the rest off. And yeah, you can pull it back in your pot. Oh wow, this feels like cement. Oh my gosh, I love it. Now let me peel this off. Oh my goodness. This is just amazing. I love it, love it, love it, love it. This is really cool. Now I don't want to add too much on it. I think only in the corners will do it. Yeah, this is so awesome. Now I will let this dry. I really am curious how long that will take so i'll get back to you in a sec i'm just going to clean this off still have my little white tissue so i'm just going to clean it off and then i'll get back to you when this is dry awesome all right so now this is dry i hope and then let me use a few of these stamps for the background but i don't want this too bulky I'm just going to see what I'm going to do with this. This is also from Creative Expressions and designed also by Lisa Horton. So I really like this. So it's really, yeah, I really like the, the words, but really the splashy thing that's really grungy. So I think I'm going to refer to use the words so we need a stamp let's see where is it where is my stamping tool oh yeah I can still use this of course why not this is a stamping tool okay where is my oh here it is Use my Ranger Archival ink. So I'm just going to apply. Okay, let's see. I really don't know which which. Oh, I think this way. Let's just add in. Okay, it went well. And like I always say, I am a terrible, terrible stamping person. But with mixed media, you can't go wrong, I think. I really think that. Nice. Okay, I want to add one more. So I'm going to peel this off. This, I'm going to clean it up a bit. Otherwise, I have much on my fingers before I even do anything with it. So you can put this back on. Um, I want to use the sp splatter. Mm, no, let's use the grunge one. Uh, here we go. And for those who want to know what this is, this is from the Crea Motion. I normally use it for um, cutting my double sided tape. Okay, so let's see. I think I'm just going to overlay this right here. Oh, that, that is not what I expected, so I'm just going to overdo it. And I need to push that down, of course. Okay. Well, let's use it, overlaying it over the other one. Yeah, 
beautiful. Just a little here. Just a little on the corners right here. Just to give it just an extra touch. Yeah, cool. Okay. Clean it up. A little water. And then you can peel it off and put it back on. Alright. So let's see. What else can we do? What else? What else? What else? What shall we do on this one? Um, let me see. Uh, we can still use some letters. Oh yeah, I want to use this one. It's actually a closure, but I never used it before. So I think it's a really a nice eye catcher for on here. But we need something under, of course. So what do you say if I... Well, this is not fitting. This is not fitting. Mm -mm -mm -mm. What shall we add? Oh, let's use these words. Why not? Let's use some words. So I'm just going to apply again some nice thick glue. And I'm just going to add randomly. Some paste. Think on here too. And yeah, I add a lot, but okay, that should do it. Let's add some nice little pieces of wooden oops oops oh, oh my gosh i love these these are amazing the m and the k G L here we have a K and the letter D from Diane one up the H the O the S the Y the S just adding what I have. Okay, let's glue another D on. Good. Oh yeah, X. I like it. Another X. And so well, I think that's well. Yeah. Like it, so I'm just going to press this on that glue. Really looking nice. Yeah, cool. Okay, what else? What else? Well, this is still this is the base uh, for it. So I want mm, I want something. I want a heart. Mm. Yeah, let's add some browns to it. Some nice ones. I hope I have one more. So yeah, I can use that on the other side too. That will look amazing, I hope. Pushing this down. 
Yep. Then, um, oh, I'm always going to have a nice buckle too. Still add something right here. And like I said, I am just trying it out. You can't go wrong with this. And of course, yeah, I overlapped now a few of my my letters but that's really no big deal it isn't really really it isn't and we still want this yeah it's getting there it's getting there it, it needs it needs just a little extra touch let me see can we add something all these are pretty big, but, 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 oh yeah. Let's add some nice leaves. Mm -hmm. uh -oh. Do we have another one? Guess not, but this one also fits. Very, very nice. There we go. Yeah. Okay, what else? Hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now, this is the top. This is really the top perhaps I have one more mm, two different ones and I can add this underneath and then this oh Gives a nice extra dimension, what do you think? Filling up, so I am going to add a few sticks because I don't want a gap in between. Here we go, that's better. Yep, perfect. Perfect. There we go. Let's say, hmm, what else? Does it need anything else? I really like how it turns out already. Really, the, the letters are just perfect. Hmm. I could add some little... Mm -mm 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 -mm. Some little... I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? I also have these little things. They are nice too, here and there, just to give it an extra 
touch. Just really randomly. Ah, it sticks on my finger. <sighs> that was hot. And it's still hot. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's the risk of using a hot glue, but I am. You know that. Yes, I do. <laughs> okay, just going randomly. Oh, not in a... Yes, I think I want to add a few of these also. These are just little dots I think that adds nicely I really burn my finger But, what do you think? I think I will stop now. Otherwise it will go nuts and I don't like that. I don't. Wait. I do have a few bigger ones. And that will do the trick. So now it really looks odd because all the colors, but when this is done, of course, then it will look, I think, amazing. Yeah, I like it. Do you not want to add a word on it? Could be. I know you don't like the word cool, but perhaps I have another word. Love life, oh yeah, that is nice, that really breaks the page right here, what do you think? Hmm, I think I like that, just want to add. one because the hot glue is not let's go wild nice <laughs> really nice and thick yeah I think this will fit perfectly right here I really like that the word is nicely coming in that clue. Yeah, so let this dry and then I'll get back to you. Oh. Alright, stay tuned. Okay, this one I am going to add, um, I think a little different. Well, uh, first of all I'm going to add again some white this is just acrylic paint home deco decorative hobby paint really cheap one not too not too fancy i'm just going to add on this bronze stuff because to the bronze stuff i really want 
it will be white and you can use gesso that's that's possible but I just going to do multiple layers to have to have that really white effect so I don't have to use too much gesso because gesso is really just a primer so you don't have to use it all you also can use just white acrylic paint or chalk paint or whatever whatever you're going to find that's good now I'm really going to be gentle um, with the background stamping because otherwise my stamping was a total waste and sometimes I really have to admit that I saw that I see some uh, videos on uh, YouTube and yeah they, they start doing it uh, making nice uh, background with, with paste and stampings but when they are done most of the things you hardly can see it coming back so that is why I be gentle with my white because I want that my stamps is going to be C. I am not going to promise that but if my idea is working but I'm just going to see if it is working so I'm just going to apply what it needs to be white at least I'm going to try wish I used more of my white letters than black but hey 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 no big deal we can work with it we can just need a little more give a little bit oh yeah give a little bit more just finishing up these pearls these wooden letters this wooden love life here it is yep, trying to go as deep as possible all the way around these little pearls oh here I forgot one nicely all the way around okay well yeah I need a little more deeping in dipping in I call it Okay, so I think I will let this dry and then I will do another layer and then I'll come back. Cool. Let's see, I'm going to add because this glue dries really clear but it's really shiny so I'm just going to add some fluffy stuff a little. And I'm really curious what happens if I put that heat thing on. I'm really curious. If that's affecting the glue or something. I don't know. Let's find out. Just going to add here too because I really like that. Okay, 
let's see what happens.
that is awesome. That it really is. Clean up. Look, I love it. Oh yeah, this is way better than before with that. Oh my gosh, I really love this stuff. It's like a very light gummy something. You even can hear the sound? I really like it. It's so cool. Okay, so I'm just going to go back in another time with my acrylic paint because I want that bronze to be white Media is actually pretty well relaxing. Oh, well, yeah, because it's really no big deal what you do, it really it isn't. You can do more and more and more, and you're never going to ruin your, your stuff. Really, it isn't. Because you can add more and more and more and more just how you like it. So you see the colors are almost gone and then I did not even put my primer on. So that is the second, the third layer I'm, I'm going to do. And as you can see I just added um, my embellishment so not too much where the stamp was going so I hope the stamp still pops out okay so I'll let this dry and then I get back for my gesso okay you can still use this Now I'm going to I'm going to play with my Jane Jane Davenport um, crayons, and I'm just going to see if they are um, pigment good. So I'm just going to add, and I'm just going to start with this really nice color, and it's they called it pucker up, pucker up. <laughs> Okay, so I'm just going to add some art on my um, plate. I'm just going to add some water and to see that this is really nice. I'm just going to add something on here just to see how much it will take on that paper. Just to see how this works. Really love the color. It's so gentle. Alright, okay. That is really nice. And you can go over and over, of course. Hmm, yeah. Like that. I'm going to add some more. And I think that less water, of course, <coughs> will be <coughs> much more pigment, I think. Hmm. Okay. <coughs> How? <coughs> oh, guys, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I really have a little frog in my in my throat. 
Okay, which color does fit with this nicely gentle? Yeah, I don't think it's it's a peach, but I really like it. Okay, which which color? Which color more? I think purple does it always. Let's see which purple. This this is not the same, is it? No, it isn't. No, this is the eccentric. I'm just going to add. And need a little water. And you can mix also, of course. That's good. Oh, all right. Got it. I also can add quite a lot, so it goes really nice everywhere. That's also a possibility. Swipe it off and let it float. But you can add it with your brush too. So I really like the water color. So I just showed you, well I don't know if it's just, but I showed you in a little bit that other color all right so yeah i really like the water color so adding some more water so we have more to play with and like i said it's the very first time that i use totally this but i just wanted to show you the options that you have with this and with other colors. Of course I love these colors. Cool. Now, first of all, which color do you like with this? So we have that dark and we have this purple one. Hmm. Which color does this need? I think, I think first a little brown, a nice dark brown. Just adding some water. Just a little to give it a little contrast to here. So this can nicely be blended in, so I can go over it as much as I want. And then I want that here too, just to see how it goes. Just a little, just going to be playful and see what happens. Oh, I really like the color. What happens if I use this brown and then this one together, use some water, mix these two up, oh my gosh this is so awesome, and then, oh yeah I love it. I'm just going to let this float in just a little. Oh my gosh, I love it. It's so cool. So I'm just using that here too. Wow, I never thought that watercolor. I was confessing. I mean, I have a little confessing. <laughs> I call that confession. Oh, what's that word? Um, I 
was afraid that this watercolor, um, this 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 method, do not work with the with with this. But it worked nice. Uh, it's really easy in use, and you really can blend this really nice with another color. So yeah, I love it. Look how easy that went to mix that up. I'm going to blend this in just for a second. I love it. I really love this color. Yeah, so cool. Love it. Alright, so let's see which color. Oh yeah, I think you also can use this one. Oh, that's also nice. I see I saw someone uh, uses the leftover tissues also for some backgrounds. Ah, totally cool. Anyway, um, let's get back to this one. What what color do we need more? Um, yeah, yeah. Um, that is hard, I think, perhaps, let me see, a light lila, just going to see how that is working, hmm, wait just a minute, I think the brush was not cleaned, wait just a second, I need to clean my brush. Oh, by the way, what happens if I will, let's say, put this right here? I want to know. Adding some water. And then you also get... Well, I prefer using this method. I think that's better. So very light. Very light. Pink, but I really like the color. It matches perfect with this one. So yeah. And like I said, I am not a professional. I am just see how this works. I'm going to add some a lila on here on the left side yeah I totally in love with it and I want to see how it ends if it dries I'm really curious how that will look Actually the same method as I did earlier, but then, yeah, I don't know, it's just different with um, using these crayons, because the, the, now you see that my stamping is not go under um, a real good pigment, and it really gives a nice touch. Um, I really think I need some more something let me choose this one nice pink oh yeah I 
and we're whispering. I really don't know. <laughs> I'm just excited. I'm really excited to see how this all blends in so nice. This is really awesome. That is a really nice color. Mm, I want to add a little brown. Okay. Clean up my brush. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Look at this color. That's amazing. So, yeah, you can add as much as you like. Really, it does. Just try it out. Let's see how it goes. So I'm just going to dab in so I get the most color. Wow, this is awesome. Yeah, I'm just going to um, let this dry for a second and see how it dries. How it dries out. So now this is totally <laughs> full, and some of you guys use this as a background. Hmm, okay, could be. <laughs> okay, heating tool. that it worked so well with these crayons. Really, I love the water, the, the water um, pigments on it. What do you think? It's very light. And in real life, the colors are much brighter than you will see on camera, but uh, no, you don't see that pretty much, but I really like how this turns out. Oh my gosh. Loving it. So what else? Well, you don't have to go in, especially with your white. I think I'm going to, yeah, what else does it need? I think some, hmm, I think it's nice already. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. I love it. I could, I could do some more color but I think it's light enough what do you think I love it already this is so cool all right so what else what else what else can we do um, let's see perhaps just a little a little more just to see how it goes with the second layer just to see how many spots do we missed if you missed a few spots then you can choose this to do it all over And I really like this color, so that is <laughs> a little why I want to add some more. So yeah, that 
it's totally up to you if you are already in love with it and just let it be let it be Just adding a second layer, which it was actually not needed, but I just wanted to see how much pigment we are going to, how we, how much we can create with just these water um, things, the water things. Oh my gosh, <laughs> Diane. <laughs> I really like the outside colors. These are really amazing. And now I want really this lila look just a little more because I just want. Okay. Here we go. Just a little more. I think you can you can um, create exactly the same method with just watercolors. You really you can, but yeah, I don't know. I really like this. And like I said, it's really easy to take with you and to add with a little water brush some of your. fast that applies how fast that is resolving the crayon layer cool liking it a lot I really like the colors that is so amazing which color I did use here Ooh, I think I think it was this one with this one, I think. Ooh, what a day. Look at this. Let this blend in. can do as much as you want. Well, you can. Look how fast that goes. Really, I was afraid of using these, but oh, especially on on this mixed media. But gosh, that works amazing. Yeah, and of course, a water palette, water, um, how we call that, a water base thing you also can use. But I really like this. Just rub it on. Clean your brush. And add it on. There we go. Yeah. This is cool. Yep. Loving it. I think I will stop. Let it dry. Again.
Pretty, pretty. Loving it. Okay, now I am going to add still some white. I really like that. Uh, white gesso. Just because it can. <laughs> and let's see. Pieces like the bubbles and your metals, very light going over your metals. But actually, it was not needed because it was very light already, but. This does it. Just that extra little touch. And what you see coming up, that's that fluffy stuff. That goes a little. Go with the little pieces right here. The bowls. Beads, so they pop up. Loving it. It's so cool. And I really like the fluffy stuff. Look inside. Look from close. How their bubbles look like. It's cool, isn't it? So amazing. Yeah, I love it. Yep, I will stop right there. Need some splattering, so just clean this up. I don't want to go all the way around. Where is my. Oh, here it is. Add some water. Mix it up. And here we go. Ooh. This does it totally. Let's go out. This is so nice. I'm going to let this dry and see if I can add a little shimmer on these little... But you have to be careful of course because otherwise you are ruining it. But I'm going to see if that is a good choice to do. So back in one sec. Okay, 
Okay, so what I'm trying to do is with my Inca Gold, I'm just going to add a little I wish they was not hardened because with your fingers it will be doing better but this stuff is really nice but it's hardened and I did put a baby napkin in but that does not do the trick but it's only needed for just a little extra so yeah, the shimmering is, you see it, so they are just like pearls, a little bit more, see that, cool, what you also can do is add some shimmering, if you like, here and there, just on these little things here so you can add a little bling on these and these are from Nouveau Glitter Drops I'm just going to add a little on top of these beads so they shimmer just a little more right let it dry just in the middle yep that's enough and I think hmm actually here yeah, needs something Something nice, something a nice thing to bling or something. Just something like that or hmm, okay. It needs something. I don't know. I don't know, I don't want no, I think just no, I'm just going to leave it like this and put some shimmering on top, just a little sparkle and then I let it dry. this dry and then I leave it like this yeah I like it cool yes I am very satisfied so Okay, I think this one needs a bit more of contrast, so I'm just grabbing my ink, ink pad and first I'm going to add the edges a little more, I think that I really want it a little over the edge, so that is, oh look at this, especially with here. There we go, around the edges, just to give it just a little more interest. I think it's really pale with only these nice pastel colors, I really like them, but I think it could be a little more. Just. Okay, so that is that. Wow, I really like this, this, um, I call this, the 
the texture that it pops out a little. So now I'm just going to grab just a simple brush and I am going to see if I oh my gosh my dog my dad's dog I'm going to see if I can add just a little more contrast to some of them just a little you barely see it but I think I am more happy with that just randomly okay that's good okay now what else I think the letters uh, need a little more shadow so I'm just going to apply a little on the side to give it just a little and the ink is really is really gentle to do with a small brush so yeah I think this looks way better just a little So it will see better that there are letters. Otherwise, you don't see you don't see that there is something going on. Okay. Just see where it's needed a little more shadow. Just pretend that this is the sun with just a little shadow okay okay that is good I'm only taking the edges just gentle gentle I don't want to overdo it really gentle just the bottom edges yeah that's good yeah now it pops out real good yeah that is perfect that is Just be gentle, you always can go back in if needed. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely this is a little bit more that you will see what's going on. Be gentle. Um, oh yeah, this is definitely just a little extra touch. You will see that this really pops out way better now. Just a little, see how that goes, oh yeah, not too much Diane, not too much, just the edges, just a bit, just a really tiny bit, barely touching the edges. Yep, 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 yep. Let me see. This is so cool. 
cool. Okay, now I really want this here also to be shadowing more. So I'm just rubbing against that edge. So you will see that image way better. You see? That is perfect. Just a little shadow. Okay, good, 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 good. Now we need on here a bit shadow. Just a little edge with this one, really gentle, just the top. Yeah, you want a close look? Look, really the shadows are way nicer now. Okay, um, just a little around these little and these are really delicate so I'm just going to rub it and I'm just rubbing it in the same direction same as a normal shadow is Just a little. Almost there. Don't overdo it, just a little. now just I think it's enough really a nice black edge uh, just how I like it there we go I see that black really was needed. I think, yeah, the white was nice, but I really like how this looks. Yeah, this is way better. Yep, so cool. So now what I'm going to do is see if I can glue it down on a um, nice surface so it keeps it all nice flat and then I can glue it on something that I have bought. Okay, so let's see if I'm going to choose, yeah, I'm just going to choose this chipboard right here so I can cut it down just a little smaller. I'm just going to glue this down and I'll be back in one second. Hi, hi! And then this is the finished project and uh, I really love how this turns out because now it's still useful. Uh, because I only glued it down on a piece of chipboard and then I thought, well, I can put it somewhere on a wall or something. But I thought, why not buy a journal? And it's quite a simple one, not fancy or anything. It's just a nice journal that you can write in. So I glued it on the front and then you still can use it. So yeah, you still can use this closure. Nothing wrong with it. So I love how this turns out. So what do you think? I used a little black 
Um, so it really gives a little extra contrast, a little shadowing. But I really love, 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 love it. Look at these colors. There's this nice pink, orange, light orange, um, purple, lila, and then all the colors go back to here down below. Love life. Yeah, I really like how this turns out. What do you think? I really like it. So yeah, very, very, very glad with it. So yeah, it's just a simple journal. But we still can use it. Alright, so thanks for watching. Um, every single product I use is in the description box below. So please check it out. Because I love all the products I use. So okay, check it out. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.